Hi everyone, I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. So today I'll share another GeoGebra tutorial for drawing polygons. So I hope you have already downloaded the app and installed in the computer and you may explore all the tools given here. First one is this left corner is select. You can select a, any object. This is second is your point. You can draw a point, point on object, intersection point, midpoint. Similarly, third one is your line. Line with given length line segment, line ray, you can draw. Fourth one is perpendicular line, parallel lines, perpendicular bisector, angle bisector, you can draw. And here, fifth one is polygon. So for first polygon, you can draw yourself. You can draw a triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon. But I am taking the regular polygon here. So that I'll give the number of sides. It will show, it will draw for me. And it will be very quick to show you the children. It may be used in plus seven and eight, the polygons. So I'm... Before that, I'm going for finishing this graphics. I'll go for the plane mode or plane part platform. So what to do? I'll right click on it. Then I'll click on axis. It will go. Then right click. I'll click on grids. So it will get some plane space, white space. Then I'll go for your polygon so I'll go I'm going for regular polygon so click one point immediately you'll see that there will be line coming with it so take the line to click another but it may be big side it may be small side but I'm taking a small side because I'll draw so many polygons on one on this screen so click it is ask, asking how many vertices. I am writing three because I first I want to draw triangle. So this is the triangle. Now you I can move it. How to move it? I'll click on this and I'll move this. I can move the whole screen. But if I want to move only the triangle, I'll click on select button, leftmost corner, and I'll select it. Okay. Suppose I don't want this point to be shown. I can do it, how to hide it, right click on this point, then show object, the point will go. Again, right click on this, show object, it will go. Right click on this, show object, click on show object, it will go. Now I want to name it triangle. So I'll right click on this polygon, right click, then I'll go for rename. So when I'll write rename, I'll write triangle. So you can see this triangle. So one polygon I draw. Next I'll go for quadrilateral. So I'll go for this corner again, click. I'll go regular polygon, then click somewhere on the screen, take the side, again click. It is asking how many sides. So I'm writing four sides, okay. So this is four side. You can see that it is going uh, beyond the screen. So I'll click on move and I'll move it. So this is your quadrilateral. In the same way, I can remove this, this points. I don't need any point here. And if you need to name the sides, you can keep it. And this is Next, I name it quadrilateral. So I'll right click on it, rename. Then it will be quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. So this is a quadrilateral. Now I want to color it in a different color. So what I'll do, I'll keep on this, keep the mouse cursor on the quadrilateral, right click, go for object properties. So you can select the color. 
I can select any color. I am selecting this color. It is a light color. But you see this opacity, I can make it a dark color. So it is quadrilateral. Or I can make it green. Then it's close it. It will not automatically quadrilateral. Next, I'll go for five. So poly click on polygon, then regular polygon, then click here and it will ask, I'll take five sides, five, then it will draw a pentagon. As you see that when you are getting the same thing again, that means it is very quick so that it is helping you to make it again, but escape it. Then I'm selecting it to move it to another place. So I'll move it. Next I'll name it, right click, rename. It will be Pentagon. Pentagon, it is Pentagon. You can make it a different color. Object properties, then go for green color. You can make it dark, then okay. So next I'll go for again hexagon. I'll write six sides, this hexagon. So how to make it proper place? I'll move it, right click and rename. This will be hexagon. Sometimes when while teaching, it is very difficult to draw online but if you keep it you can show the children hexagon then your heptagon heptagon sometimes the heptagon is not available with this figure in internet but you can draw yourself with this geogebra i'm taking now heptagon seven sides so i'll take seven sides so it will be how to move it click on this Go for this and right click, then rename it will be hexagon. Heptagon. Heptagon. So, similarly, octagon, nonagon, you can remove the name. I am coloring it as red. So, make the mask colorful also. It will attract. The children for mathematics then close it you can remove or you can hide all the points next is i am hiding the algebraic view so view algebra so you can see all the figures are there you can save it as picture also you can share another things next is when it is a regular hexagon or heptagon or pentagon the you can measure the angle also so how to measure the angle you will go for angle and suppose i am measuring the angle in triangle i'll click on two sides then i'll get side one side two or oh, it's not size showing the side because so I hope you have understood, you can explore more, you can uh, learn more and more as you play with it. And uh, again, I'm going to text writing polygons. Here I'm writing polygons. Polygons. I can make it a polygon big. I'll go for the object properties, basic and uh, text. I'll take a extra large. It will be too big. I'll go to large. Polygons I'm making color also. I'm making violet color. Then this is polygons. So I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Thank you for watching. And you have liked it. So please like, 
and share so that others can learn. And if you want to some learn some other things, please write in the comment section so that I can help you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.